Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome it's back. Yeah. Welcome back to the Straight Talk Podcast. Would you date an OnlyFans bird? Would you, would, if, excuse me guys, can I ask you a question? Would you date an OnlyFans bird? <laughs> yeah, if the OnlyFans bird were loyal and I knew that she were loyal and I knew she weren't loose... Um, and if she weren't, I'm going to say if she weren't too vain, but it's pretty hard probably not to have an OnlyFans bird that's vain because that's how they make the money. If you're interested in that little question, by the way, make sure you go and check out the shorts from, what did you say, about a year ago? Yeah, probably a year, about a year way ago. About we went on the streets <clears throat> and asked, guys, would they date a girl on OnlyFans? Most of them said no. You're didn't quite, they? You're quite fun actually doing that. It, when we're out on the streets, we're going to have to do, do something. We're gonna, we, soon we're going to be out on the streets. Not all the time, but odd time we'll go on streets yeah, again. Yeah, and we'll be asking questions. It, it is it is difficult. What about you, bro? Would you date an OnlyFans bird? Uh, I pr- um, I wouldn't want him to show the face or not. That's something I wouldn't like. But all depending. No, you know I wouldn't probably not. Yeah, I feel like they have. It's like they have no morals. Kind mm. of, you know what I'm saying? It's you know they're selling themselves for money, but I think there's many other ways that women can make money. Rather than exposing themselves online. Yeah. So it's just from a moralistic and religious stance, I'd say no. Yep. Well, let's see what this uh, portal flasher has to say on the New Piers York Morgan portal show. Flasher. New York portal flasher. This is our reaction. What Straight does portal podcast. flasher sound like to you? Well, actually, it's a portal flasher. Show up in the portal. Yeah. <laughs> flash, flash your potatoes. Let's go. I just wanted my potatoes to be international, so I just got the portal from New York to Dublin shut down. I thought the people of Dublin deserved to see two New York homegrown potatoes. Who doesn't love boobs? I'm sure you love boobs, Pierce. Why would you call them potatoes, knowing how much the Irish love potatoes? The people that found it insensitive and inappropriate probably never get laid. I have no shame at all. Mm. I made $100,000 in a week. What reaction have you had from your own family? It really doesn't bother them that I know of. Okay, well, let's find out if it bothers them, because I've actually got your mother, uh, Susan Lochner, joining us. Were you, as her mother, offended by it? When artist Benedictus Gillis came up with the idea of a real-time visual portal between Dublin and New York, his intention was to unify cultures and show that distance yeah. cannot divide us. Right, and so if you what? don't know what this thing is, it's a little, it's obviously a big screen which is like showing Dublin to, is it New York? Yeah, it's FaceTime. So, yeah, it's FaceTime, giant people yeah. looking at it, whatever, you can flag someone it, off. It makes me laugh, like it's called the portal, the, uh, the, the whatever, the, yeah. the portal, when it's, it's basically a FaceTime screen, bro. That is it. That's all it is. Yeah, literally. And it lags as well. It's yeah, lagging. It's not that like good, bro. I know. Yeah, it's Bobo. Worked. We see a lot of love, light and smiles, he said in an early interview. There was even a successful marriage proposal. But these days, it seems nothing good lasts for very long. Citizens of both great cities began doing various inappropriate things that were, well, not exactly in the spirit of the installation. This culminated in the only fans model from New York brazenly flashing at her Irish counterparts, an incident which went viral and led to the temporary closure of the portal. It's now reopened, but with limited operating hours and strict on-site security. All of which leads to the question, is absolutely nothing safe from a generation's insatiable thirst for attention and digital clout? Well, who better to ask than the woman who turned the portal of hope into the portal of shame? Joining me now is the OnlyFans <laughs> model and public flasher. He's good for you, Before we start on this he's bird, good, he's good. like, that makeup is terrible. I'm sorry, bro, but it she, is. Her eyes don't look real. It, the... It's just can you, can you see on her nose? She where, hasn't got much. Where she, where she that she's put, yeah you can see it. It looks like her nose looks she's, gold. She's, she, she's made her nose look thinner at each side, left and right. She's put dark foundation down to make her nose look thinner. Yeah, and it's just a generic two thousand twenty four Bernard that you know wants to look good. Yeah, I just I don't know. There's just something about her that that just seems a bit strange to me. She looks almost like a robot. She looks like a yeah. We're gonna say she looks a bit like a doll. Yeah, yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that's weird. Ava Louise, well, uh, Ava, welcome to Uncensored. Hi, thanks for having me on. Well, a pleasure. Uh, my first question is, why did you do it? Well, I did it because I have an OnlyFans, and I thought it was a great way to market my OnlyFans. So you had no degree of shame. It was a marketing ploy. Yeah, I have no shame at all. 
I made $100,000 in a week. What other 25-year-olds making $100,000 in a week? And so that's your only motivation? You didn't care that you may have embarrassed your country? Um, I think Americans do... I'm sorry about that. There's, uh, there's, there's plenty of people that you... Yeah. If someone said to me... To, uh, to me it's and, I, 20, and I'm saying this on YouTube right now. There's plenty of 25-year-olds on 100K. If, if someone you. said to me now, tell your lass to get a tits out for 100 grand... I'd be like, she'll do it for 50. <laughs> <laughs> she'll do it for 50. You know Look, what I mean? I can't, like... Babe, get them out. Now. You, you, now. You, you've got to, like, see it from... Bro, if, you're, if you're already an OnlyFans model, yeah, you already expose yourself. It's not going to hurt getting your boobs out. That's just another day in office for her. People who don't even know her, bro. So it's, I'm sure she don't really care. And for 100k, I mean, some people don't earn that in five years. Bro. In a week. She'll be like... One house, two house, three house. Do you know what I mean? Literally. Just buy an house after that. Like, it's crazy. Mad. You can't... Mad. I'm sorry, but it's the world that we're living in today from these thirsty-ass men that give all the money to women on OnlyFans because they actually can't get a woman in real life or something like that, or they've just got that much money well, they're that they're... It's crazy, bro. Don't blame her. Blame the guys that are yeah, feeding this money because it is the guys that are feeding that money. Because if it weren't for the guys, there wouldn't be any OnlyFans. No, guys. exactly. The thir- These basement-dwelling bums... There's, there's been, well, we've always had porn. There's been, porn's been yeah. a, a long time seen, but OnlyFans was pretty new, weren't it? I don't get it, man. Why would you pay for it when it's there? Well, I, I don't watch it, by the way. Because the, but it's just confuses. Like, they feel like they have a personal connection. Yeah, I suppose. Like, yeah. and and these are these are women that are advertising their boobs on Facebook. Like, look, if you want to see me on the fans page, go to blah blah blah. But like, hey, is that Jessica? Oh, I want to look at Jessica. Pay what, attention. Morty? Do you know what Jessica? I mean? Morty. Morty. Worse than show their boobs. Who doesn't love boobs? I'm sure you love boobs, Pierce. <laughs> I love boobs. Yeah, it's just, they're, they're yeah, just a pair of nice well. boobs. Yeah, it's not offensive. Well, no, it's nothing about the, the quality of your own cleavage. It's about where you showed them. When you have children looking, you have elderly people. You... He's got a good point. So I've paused it so much. Like, if you were sat with your missus and you were looking at this thing, just as it, you wouldn't want a pair of tits flashed in your face. Depending, you're a dirty bastard, so you probably Well, I, I've, I've, but, I've, I've seen worse things. Yeah, I get it. But it's like, you know, if, you, if you're um, quite... Say it's like a, a Jew or something. Yeah, really. Well, it's or, it's full of Catholics yeah. in Ireland and all, isn't it? Priests yeah. and that. And they were the they were the wife, maybe even going out spreading preaching, whatever. And just a pair of tits flashing yeah. in the face. It, it it is inappropriate. Yeah, you know, for some especially. So. But fuck it, she ain't hundred grand. Who cares? In Ireland, of course, nuns, priests. Did none of that cross your mind that they may not all be as receptive to your boobs as everybody else? Well, you know what? There were no kids that I could see, and everyone, everyone seemed to really enjoy it. Um, I could care less, <laughs> peers. I really, really didn't care. The, it's just a great pair of boobs that I wanted to share with the world. Right. The installer said the intention was to bring people together from different cultures and ways of life together in order to break the narratives of separation and conflict. Do you, do you feel you've contributed towards that? I absolutely think I contributed to, towards that. Again, who doesn't love boobs? Especially American ones. But your explanation when you were asked about it, you said, I just wanted my potatoes to be international, so I just got the portal from New York to Dublin shut down. I thought the people of Dublin deserved to see two New York homegrown potatoes. Well, I got to... Just before she says, oh, I bet you're anyone in the fake. Most likely. Yeah. Maybe. Why potatoes? Well, I think because I island like potatoes. Uh, watermelons. <laughs> watermelons. 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 As of you, they're not homegrown. They are plastic. But, right. you know, I, I, really, I really thought, you know, the people of Dublin enjoyed it. The media seemed to enjoy it. Everyone seemed to like it. Well, so I, I don't know did. why they shut the portal down. Some people enjoyed it. and Some people mm-hmm. thought it was disgusting and insensitive and inappropriate. Well, you know what? I think the people that found it in sense... I suppose it could be influenced to worse things happening. Yeah. You know, you're like some guys... Are just yeah. like ah! Some stupid shit that's going to happen. But... She's very full of herself. You can see her power yeah, in a lot of stuff she can, like that. She's, you know... 100k she, in a week, I don't care. She's, she's loving it. But, you know, it is... It, like, it's strange, isn't it? Because, like, yeah. you know, 
the the way she's feeling now when she's like 90 it just completely changes i just often think are you gonna think when you're like 90 i suppose that's she should be thinking like that because she's only young yeah. you know what i mean but you know pouting and stuff like that it's mm. and inappropriate probably don't get to see nice boobs and they probably never get laid if i'm gonna be honest why would you call them potatoes knowing how much the irish love potatoes well you know what they they like potatoes potatoes are a, a big part of their country right didn't they have the famine or something so i labeled my boobs as potatoes they're just two potatoes right here right no i can i can see them um what reaction have you had from your own family well you know my mom and dad haven't always been comfortable with the fact that i have an only fans page but they've learned to accept it you know Ava flashing her boobs to the portal is just a regular Tuesday for me. Um, they've, they're pretty used to it. You know, my mom and dad are proud of how much money I make. It... Really? Yeah, because they're sat in a mint five-bedroom house gaff. Yeah. Not, like, working. So they're obviously going to be all right with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, obviously, some wouldn't be. But, yeah. you know, if you live in Cush, dear. Yeah. It doesn't bother them that I know of. OK, well, let's find out if it bothers them, because I've actually got your mother, uh, Susan Lochner, joining us. Uh, hi, Susan. Hi, how are you? Very well. Welcome to Uncensored. Uh, it feels a little... Look, I, uh, let me not be hypocritical. It is a terrible investment, oh, and I can guarantee you go on those YouTube people inside the program that have all those... You ain't got it You don't got it anymore. No. I'm critical here. I have no personal issue with women's breasts being exposed, right? It's where they expose them and how, and people who may not actually be appropriate to see this. And one of the problems I think everyone had with this, it was a very well-intentioned installation. Suddenly your daughter's there flashing her breasts, and a lot of elderly people, religious people, young people were offended by it. Uh, were you as her mother offended by it? I was not. And I'll tell you why. Where were all these people when she was growing up? I have been let down by a liberal school system, by a country that doesn't give her job opportunities. A smart, beautiful girl like her can't even go to a corporation and find a job oh. thanks to... Oh, hey, I think that's some bullshit-ass Corbyn-like excuse. I just can't get over that. She's pouting me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's about to take a picture in it. <laughs> Always ready for well, it. do you know what, though? Listen, <laughs> if that country's not providing her better options than earning what she's earning on OnlyFans, why would she do something else? Bro, the, do you know what, what really strikes me is the fact that when these girls earn this money, it's what really, really is appetising for me is the fact that they have the word that means so much to everybody. They have freedom, right? They're not slaves to a nine-to-five. They're getting the tits out, right? And guess what? If they have to trade, their kids looking online one day, seeing their mum getting the tits out all day, would it be worth it to say, your kids will get over that, but you'll never get your time back? Well, we're slaving off working, grafting, we're shoveling our hand, getting calluses on our hands and stuff like that for not even 1% of what she's earning a week. And all she has to do is do that. You can't blame her. Mm. It, maybe, maybe if, 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 if um, like her mum says, if the society did it so that People like her when they left school did get good opportunities. I know that, that obviously it does happen to women where they become lawyers and etc. and blah blah blah. But maybe if your standard jobs just what the, that that weren't that difficult you're, you're to mostly get. Mostly done pretty birds on. on it is, but then it's. It, <clears throat> I see your point. Though, do you know it? what I mean? Yeah, very. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, she, even if she want, even if she's going to become a doctor, bro, she's still not going to earn no money or, or nowhere near as much money as what she's but earning. But some now. people, you know, they. are the morals are more important than money. They are, that's true. But to some people, they're not, especially these, these you know, youngins today. The, they don't a, care, bro. A, a lot of them are like, yo, I'll trade that any day at week. And for that much money, yeah. Even me, still to this day, I still can't blame someone for saying, you know what, absolutely F that job. I don't care if I earn 30 grand a year or even 50 grand a year. A grand a week comes into my account. I'd rather get, get my tits out for 300 grand a year. Thank you very much. And think work. about it while I'm in my jacuzzi and sauna and, and get depressed about it while I'm in my pool and whatnot. That's it, isn't it? Well, I'm going to get them out now. That's <laughs> <laughs> it, it's mad. Our administration, thanks to COVID lockdown, OnlyFans is a real force in this country. I think that uh, Ava is just responding to what she's given. 
Um, and um, I am proud of her. I'm proud of her because she's learned a way to make a living here in this very strange world. But, you know, I suppose what I would say is this. I come from a generation where to be on a national stage or international stage for any reason was normally precipitated by a talent. You know, you'd be a great entertainer, you'd be a great sporting figure, a great politician. She's clearly a good entertainer. Mm. Uh, a great scientist, a great yeah. whatever. Um, the idea that you can now become famous, as Ava has done, infamous if you like, just by flashing on a public portal. If I was her parent, I don't think I'd be that proud of that. I mean, I understand your argument that the system may have let her down and she hasn't got a better job, but really just stripping in public like that, for just a, just a bit of clout, a few followers, a bit of cash... Are you as a mother complete? It's, 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 it's just cash. not a bit of cash. That's what she earned in one week as well. Yeah. Let, let's. She's probably earning six figures a year. It's not a bit of cash. It's, yeah, it's not. And it's, That's a life it, change. That's generate. It's, kind of, it's not generate. It's life changing. It is, yeah, it is. It's the freedom. Bro, bro. Her grandkids are going to be... Yeah, cushion. bro, it, it's the freedom. It's life changing. She can literally do chill outside of a pool and do what she wants. Drinking wine all day. And she don't have to worry about day. healthcare in America. She don't have to worry about if her mum gets cancer or something and they can't afford it or whatever because there's no NHS over there. So many reasons why that a lot of women would take that and I don't blame them. Mm. I, I, don't, I certainly don't blame the women that wouldn't do it for the morals and I'd be like, yeah, you go. Not willing to trade your morals in. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but at the same time, I can't be mad at the other side as well. Yeah, I just can't. Happy about that? Uh, no. I mean, I think... For her to be uh, someone in finance and <laughs> be married, have a white picket fence anymore. Um, they just aren't. And I'm way uh, too I think hot the way to she work does in finance. Smart. <laughs> well, I I just thought it was I just thought it was. Yes, yeah, it, it, it definitely comes with a side of vain. That's why I said well, I'm too hot to work in finance. Oh, that, man, just the way she's looking at you know that is what makes me laugh because I would love to meet this woman now, fifty years later. And just be like, are you too hot? To oh no, no, that, that dried ass lettuce. No, let me just say, like, that, that I guarantee is a lot better looking women who, who are actually in finance than she is. Oh, bro, she's, she comes off at she comes 100%. off at fucking Miller. There's 100%. loads of women like her, two to a penny. But most these days, to be fair, I, I just I would love to meet the older self of her. And she'd be like, yeah, looks don't really matter. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's because you're a dried up, wrinkly old woman now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it while you can, baby. Get that That's money. It. And funny, um, if you take away the fact that she's my daughter and the shame in that, because again, they're not proud par parenting moments, but the whole idea uh, when she did it and the money she made, I just think it was, it was smart. It's not a dumb girl you're dealing with here at all. She was a straight A student, very intelligent. Really? College was a snap. For her. She, uh, yeah. You see, and I, uh, I think. Let me ask Ava, you Go see, ahead. it seems to me your mother's being a great loyal mother defending you, but when I really pushed her a bit, there's no actual sense of great pride here. She would much rather you had used your obviously formidable uh, brain power to do something a little bit more sophisticated and impressive and talented than flashing a breast in... Yeah, but if she did that, then her mum wouldn't be getting the dough. She's sat outside that barn like, there, I want I know, to keep horses yeah. in. Piers, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a Jersey girl... I'm New Jersey trash. I have no interest in being sophisticated and having a job in finance. I'm a hot girl with great boobs, and I make a Fake hell of a lot boobs. more money showing these boobs to people than I would if I was a doctor. So, the, the funny thing is, is that a lot of women are going to watch this and think, oh, I want to get on OnlyFans, but you are in the small percentage of you're not even 1%. It's like YouTube. It's it, like we're not even in the 1%. You know, we, we, yeah, we've got free, we're nearly on 4K. Monetize we have money from YouTube, but we're not nowhere near Mr. Beast. No, you know what I'm saying we've won a pound on scratch card, basically. Yeah, literally. Do you know what I mean? We're, if you're a winner, and bro, oh. our, 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 50, I'd say 80% of the channels on YouTube, probably 90% of the channels on YouTube aren't monetized. More. Well, yeah, it's, it's like 95% 95 of the channels on YouTube aren't monetized. monetized. The, um, so we, we are we, we are in a small bracket. But we we want to we want winners from winners from a scratch card. But at this moment we've won a quid, yeah. and that's it. And your people that are on two hundred. Not a year's work. Yeah, a year's a year work. work. And your people that are on two hundred k subs, they've won. I don't know a thousand quid yeah. or 
two or two thousand quid or whatever. You know, if you're on two hundred thousand subs, that that's like you're a lottery you're, winner. You're, you're, you're living good. You 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 you're because you're earning good money and it's not really. Yeah, and you you no. you are you are truly a YouTube lottery winner, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, obviously the hard work comes into play, but. You've got more chance of winning Irish lottery and winning fifty grand than what you have of getting two hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Statistics don't lie; they'll tell you that. The same with this: ninety nine point nine percent of women that are on OnlyFans earn less than a McDonald's wage. They've already done statistics on that, and these, they, that. yeah, yeah, I know a couple of girls that are on OnlyFans. Obviously, like our last knows them as well. They're, they're on, they're on petty money, petty money, bro. Honestly, petty money. Petty, for what they have to do, it's like that is bad. But you know, I suppose you've got to start small and hopefully yeah, finish big. Yeah, we started small, didn't we? We yep. started on one subscriber. That's it. That's how it's how the ball rolls. I to choose, right? Um, I don't have a job integrity? as a doctor. What about integrity? I'm making eighty grand a year. What I'm about over integrity? Here making a million dollars a year. I mean, if I was sorry, but if this was my daughter saying, "I'm New Jersey trash. I don't care. I didn't want a proper job. Well, I'm earning all this money." Susan, let me bring you, you back in. Come on. Susan, come on. You're not you happy hearing your daughter say, I'm that's New Jersey that's trash. That's Is that what you invested yeah, you all your time and effort to bring me up for? Well, you, you just have to be from Jersey. We're a little different of a crowd there. Our, our that's bullshit. Everyone says that about their own town. You have to be from Sheffield. You have to be from Rotherham. You have to be from Jersey. You have to be from New York. Ed, they all set same. Do you know what I mean? Your town's no different to another town. That town's no different to that mm. town. Yeah, they, they've got the slight differences, but they all say, you have to be from Texas to understand, or you have to be from so-and-so. Shut yeah, up. Yeah. Friend, Donald Trump, he also kind of runs at the mouth. We all kind of do. We're all a little bit... Our culture's a little different. Um, <laughs> and we have a, a sense of humor that see, tends to shock people. I think when... I love New Jersey people. It, they all say um, that and all, don't they? Yeah, we, yeah well, I mean... I was young once too, and you, you'd be surprised, Pierce. There's probably a lot more in common that Ava and I have, but I don't, I don't, uh, I don't love it. But I also don't begrudge her some fun, a smile on her face. Some, like I said, this isn't a fun world for a young person right now, especially one that was brought up with a phone and with access to sex all day long. I mean, this in high school and middle school, they they taught them things and. Yeah, Paul, Would you believe me if I told uh, you that coffee I feel, I feel would be like one of the healthiest things in our diet? But the problem is, most... Porn kills the mind, yeah. man. You've checked it about six times. Because it's low battery. Oh. Yeah, it... it Porn it, kills the mind, it, man. It numbs the mind, doesn't it? It's not good. And it, it, it takes the, uh, the reality out of sexual intercourse, you know. It's, it's a thing that people in love. I, I, yeah, I think I think I think it can be different sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. some people watch porn together. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's. Uh, I what think that you, you know, like Andrew Tate and things like that. They all come out with it, like porn's right bad for you and blah blah blah. And it can be if you're addicted you're, to yeah. it. Um, but you know, if you've got an healthy relationship with someone and stuff like that, it, it can also, it's just like fucking going on. It can be as bad as going on TikTok for an hour. Do you know what I mean? And numbing your brain, mm. watching a load of rubbish that has, has no relevance to your life yeah. at all. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what realistically she's saying. Oh, sir, if, if I'm going to use TikTok, if I'm going to be on the app, I'm going to pause first. Yeah, so you're doing something constructive first. I'm going to pause first. first and then watch it. Yeah. I'm not just going to watch it. I'm just going to pause and then yeah. like YouTube shorts. That can get you though. You can you can say I'm going to do something and then you can just go, <laughs> half yeah. an hour later. You know what I mean? It can it can get you. Yeah, definitely. What's different between watching porn and numbing your brain that way than watching... Except if you're a weirdo who checks your views like me all the time. Yeah. Just refresh. Yeah. you got to do that though, haven't you? Yeah. It's been exposed from a young age and this didn't come from my house. And so I'm battling something that I can't battle. Uh, I'm proud of her because I love her. And she's my daughter. I'll right. always be proud of her. It, it, she's not killing anybody. Um, she had a bit of fun, her and her boyfriend. And Yeah. That, here's the that, thing, that's Susan. an important part as well, isn't it? Like, yeah. the, she's not hurting nobody. The, the girl's not hurting nobody. And, you know, that is the main thing. Like, people can be haters of this because they're not earning that money and they're not, they haven't got that, that opportunity to earn that money. But... At the end of the day, you've got to call it out for what it is. Would we do it in our situation? Probably not. Well, yeah, I would. 
hundred percent. Oh what? Uh, flash for hundred grand. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or if I know I'm gonna have a healthy career, being on uh, OnlyFans, would would I take that up <laughs> rather than decorating? Are you mad? Don't be silly. <laughs> I get my little sausage party out any day at week for ah. for, uh, for triple amount of money than what yeah. I'm earning now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, crazy. I think you're a really decent person, right? You just come across as very open, very honest, very intelligent, very thoughtful about this. And I think underneath Ava's jersey trash claim is a very smart, beautiful young woman who honestly is yes. just being led down a weird rabbit hole of thinking the only thing she can do to be successful in life and earn money is flash her breasts around in, yeah, in public. And I find that a little bit dispiriting. Let me correct you, Piers. Let me correct you, Piers. I don't think it's the only way for me to make money, but it's a damn great way to make money, okay? I'm making six figures a month. I get to live in a beautiful apartment. I have freedom all day, every day. You know, I don't have to report to a nine to five. I don't have a boss. I just have to take a couple pictures. Yeah, but pictures hang on, you're conflating two things. You're conflating two things. OnlyFans is fine. I've got no problem with OnlyFans, right? OnlyFans people pay and then they can get your pictures or whatever it is you give them, right? That's fine. That's a contractual arrangement between oh, you I and them. I give them everything. Right? I'm not talking about that. You can give them whatever you want. I don't care, right? I'm not a prude. I'm talking about what you did in public to something which was actually bringing two great countries together where a lot of pride from the people who installed it and a belief Maybe that we're going to bring, you know, as they said, bringing two different cultures together. Take it all day long. Well, my, my point is, though, you, you, kind of, you kind of ruined it, Ava. You sullied it. Oh, who cares? They, uh, they shut it down for one week and they reopened it. I didn't ruin it. And let's be honest. I think Piers is deep in it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going a little bit too yeah, deep in it. He likes to be controversial, but come on, Piers. Mm. OnlyFans isn't as easy as, you know, it's taking a picture of your boobs and posting it on your page and making money. You got to be good at marketing yourself. And that was a perfect opportunity for me to show up and market myself, market the assets that I'm selling to make a living and make an insane amount of money. I made $100,000 in a week. Name one other job that a 25 year old could be doing making $100,000 in a week. All Listen, I had to do was I, flash my boobs. I congratulate it's genius. I congratulate you on making that money. I'm sure every good-looking woman in the world could do the same with a little bit of your chutzpah. I don't, I don't dispute that. But the, you know what? Those, those other good-looking women don't have the balls to do what I did. I, it took balls. That may it well really, be true. It took balls. That hurt her then that he said, I'm sure Fact, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. all the good-looking in the world yeah, could do it if they had your chutzpah. He's, he's literally saying, look, sweetheart, you know, only, only thing that you've got that's special or that people think, or that you think you've got that's special is your you appearance. Yeah, and guess what? There's you go to Brazil. You're fine. There'd, there'd be birds that would just blow under water. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. just when they get up out of bed in the morning as well. Like it, oh, it's, there's it. absolutely billions of them. That may well be true. Uh, listen, we're taking a live I mean, shot now. Well, we're just looking at we're looking at live pictures now uh, of the portal. Um, everyone seems to be fully dressed from what I can make out. They're all waving at each other. Boring. This is, this is from Dublin Which to, is on this is from New York, York. Is cool. to Dublin. So it's a very cool thing, a great piece of art. And so far, I mean, when you look at this, Ava, when you see happy families of all ages, old, young, you know, and these all these Irish people and American people coming together, as the, as the installer said, different cultures and ways of life to break the narratives of separation and conflict. Does not a little tiny part of you have a slither of regret? So yeah, so they're going mad at her flashing the balls, but then you've got flipping chavs in Portal and flipping Muppets from Ireland that are like, you fucking Conor McGregor's and shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, not, it's just a bad idea in first yeah, place. I don't, yeah, the portal. I, don't, I don't think it's it. will get smashed eventually. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. It's... No. Uh, um, Ooh, FaceTime someone from America. Yeah, Ooh, go on Huzzah. Yeah, I won't really care. Go on Huzzah, you'll find yeah. that there as well. I don't think we need to watch any more of this No, video. I think I we think, don't. I think that, that wraps that up. That was just interesting, though. It was. Uh, I think Piers definitely deeped it a bit, and she just gave the average only, only fans bird response. I hate this, whatever, whatever. Congratulations. The question is, would your guys do it? I've already said that I would. Vinny's on fence. Maybe. You tell me you wouldn't do that, Vinny, for. 
10 grand. I'd do that. <laughs> you did do that for 10p. I'd do that anyway. <laughs> I'd do it for no. Uh, yeah, let us know your comments. What would you do? Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and a comment down below. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you later.